Welcome back again everyone to another two wheel trip and another camping trip, this time North Yorkshire Moors. Today we're heading south towards Middlesbrough on the A90 in the Windy Road, heading towards Stokesley. We're going to leave Stokesley and head into the North Yorkshire Moors, ride around, show you all the back roads, show you some of the amazing sights, beautiful roads, scenery, fantastic views and then I've got a campsite in mind on the, on the, on the south side of the North Yorkshire Moors, uh, a little bit more about that later. But he has, uh, he has home for some nice weather and some beautiful scenery to come ahead. So stick with us, we've got some camping, we've got some cooking and we've got a cracking campsite I think lined up, hopefully. I haven't booked, but hopefully they'll have spaces for us. So stick around and keep us company on this solo camping trip. So I'm off the A19 now and I'm just skirting the northwest tip of the North Yorkshire Moors here. I'm thinking that's a cracking place for a cup of coffee right on the top of there probably impossible to get to. Bloody hell someone took the road away. Look at this beautiful little village. So many of these little Villages or hamlets, or whatever they're called, scattered throughout the North Yorkshire Moors. Beautiful they are. Now I bet that's a nice scenic train route. I'm gonna go that way, but I've just seen a a canny sign like them's the signs you look for on an adventure bike. So this here, the house underneath the bridge. Canny high up here, like the ears are starting to pop. All right, lads. Canny bit of road, this like. Whoa, lads, settle down, man, will you? I say this all the time, but if only wild common was allowed, what a spot that would be there. Right on top of there, the view would be unbelievable. Look at this. What a place. God. I think I'll, uh, I'll have a pull over. Just pulled over on uh, Sled, Sled Hill, Sled Hill Road, top of the Yorkshire Moors. Look at this. This road, the view from the top of this road. It's windy as hell, like. That's it, Kildale Estate. The views across here.
Cream. with a bit of cream in. Yeah, lovely. Good old Gregory's Mexican chicken crust bread. Excellent. I'm going to sit on my rock here, minding my own business. Stop there. Quacking views. Don't know what height we are here, but uh, oh shit, I pressed the wrong button. Right. Nine hundred foot. I suppose that's quite high for Yorkshire. Road. That would be a canny little spot here, but there's a massive no camping sign. Oh, what's all this shit here? It'll be flipping slippy as out. Ford. Six foot deep, when did we get that on there? Look at this thing. That's lovely, that triumph. Lush. I like to do, I don't know if you can see that. Because I'll put a, a by me when I'm by myself anyway, the lads will kick off. I like to put the destination in but completely ignore the route. And just as long as I can see the destination on my screen, I can just follow it or plan my own route all day long. Suitable for HAB, but suitable for 1290 Super Adventures. Yeah, just uh, kind of follow the checkered flag. As long as I can see that in the background, I've got a good idea I'm heading somewhere near that direction. Which is what I like to do, just uh, ignore the, the route that it's plot for us. Then it would never go never take on these little roads then. Oh dear. Alright, oh, right. Well that looks like 
slippy block paper. I might go to the top of there. So this is definitely the path less trodden. So a bit about uh, about plans this year um, moving house got to build a garage for my bike and camping equipment which is priority within the next few weeks a bit of a crossroads here let's have a little gander here so that road which isn't even on the bloody map got the sat now uh, right, that's south, and I'm heading south. Look at this. God, this would be flipping great for camping. There's another sheep. This is the right old nasty look, that one. A lot more to the North Yorkshire Moors than Whitby and Scarborough. <laughs> I don't like orange. <laughs> Danby. Those sheep nearly jumped off that uh, bridge there. Christ, what the knots they are. Danby, I remember this place. Pretty lush. Took a while in Danby. Lovely. Portland Steam Railway Station. Took the kids on there 25 years ago. <laughs> Heartbeat Country. Discovered in the other oh, kind of little campsite there. Not bad at all there. Nice little there. Uh, nice little Gotland farm campsite. So I've discovered an even better thing about the Garmin sat nav to just uh, on your calculation mode just set it a straight line which is even better again can't remember what that is before is that new anyone know what that is what a blot on the landscape on this absolutely beautiful landscape this is beautiful this place Thornton Lee Dale Very nice, picturesque. I don't want to be turning right. The great Yorkshire Forest. So this is right next to the campsite. What a great location this is. Half a dozen pubs there as well by the looks of it. If you are stuck for a beer, little supermarket. Mm. 
low farm campsite. That's not too busy. Reception just there. <laughs> like that. So this is low farm campsite. Absolutely lovely host. Couldn't have been nicer. Lush location this as well. Much better. Yeah, that's much better. So I've got another new tent. This could be, could be the Holy Grail of Tents. Nature Hike Hill B3. Keep forgetting the name, so I had to leave the bag out. So I didn't forget it. So it's not a three man, although it says three. It's not really a two man. It's a nice one person tent. Lightweight. I think it's about two and a half kilos. Very, very similar to the uh, Berghaus Cairngorm 2, which what I've got. But it, the Cairngorm is a lot heavier. The materials aren't as good quality. And it's a lot brighter. It's bright red. Whereas this is, uh, this is a lovely colour. It's just right. Nice lightweight. Dead easy to put up. Didn't even read the instructions. Exactly the same as the house tent so you've got a, a really large vestibule it's very like the old Coleman tents at the start making which every biker used so you've got a vestibule in there which the ground sheet doesn't cover but I wouldn't ever use that anyway because if I cook in there I would just roll the ground sheet back anyway You've got great ventilation in this tent. You've got three open vents. And if you look inside, you've got a nice gap right round where the inner is separated from the outer. You've got two doors to make a great big tunnel at the front. If you look inside, I'll show you. Massive door. Uh, yeah, yeah, you could get two. You could get two in there. Put your bags out here. So yeah, two. I don't know where they get three from. Impossible. They're gonna be a mistake there. But definitely a three season tent. Gear out there, but really, it's perfect for biking. It's a one man biking tent all day long. I think it was about 150 quid absolute bargain this is the best tent i've had so far from what am i coming and i haven't even slept in it yet i'm just i know how good the cairngorn is and i know the cairngorn has a couple of weaknesses a bit heavy bright red this is just right nice big size nice vestibule 
and something else. It's, it's absolutely rock solid when it's up. So far, I'll give it a 10 out of 10. See what it's like in the rain. I think it might drizzle tonight, see what it's like. With rain and condensation. Let's talk a bit about this hill farm campsite here. Absolutely lovely site. The people couldn't do enough for you. So nice reception. Uh, uh, the lady owner and the, and the fella, great, great couple. A lovely place this is. Right next to Thornton Liddell, pubs, everything in town. So far, great, great site. Excellent location. You've got all the North Yorkshire moors on your doorstep. It's a fantastic base here. It's right at the south of the south side of the North Yorkshire moors. You could you could stay here and, and just have a couple of loops around for a day or two around Whitby Scarborough, right up the coast, right the way back down through the centre. You've got Helmsley. Yeah, you've got all the all the best biking roads in the area. So this this is really really good, really good campsite. Normally eighteen pound a night, which uh, obviously it's peak season, a little bit, a little bit dearer than normal. But she she did it for fourteen pound for us. I must have took pity on us. And uh, you've got a little, you've got a little beck running through the site there. Lovely little beck. A nice uh, warp on the other side of it. Seemingly takes you to a, a trout lake and you can walk around the lake and back down the other side. So, yeah, beautiful place. Start getting organised to, to get some foot on.
Pete's Temple, Brew Dog Neon Dream. Never had one of these before. Tropical wheat beer, 4.5%. Lovely. strong 4.5 percent ah nice session beer but could do have been a little bit stronger it tastes lovely mm. cheers all
There's only one toilet, uh, sorry two toilets and one shower, but um, it's 
spotless bikini brand new as well I think one washing up facility there which only has cold water which is a shame possibly yeah the only downside but it's cheap enough and everything so lovely place lovely location cracking campsite thoroughly recommended so it's gonna head home now was gonna go to the lakes but um, forecast is absolutely horrendous over there so I think I'll be giving that one a miss we just haven't heard back home so I hope you all enjoy this little one nighter um, without the lads a bit different without all the lads but crap the night time and that but still you get to have a bit thought a bit chill out no hurry stop when you want I hope you all enjoyed it and I appreciate all the new subscribers um, really do let me know where this come from catch you on the next one